play from the Cosmic Mind blog, he's dead now. It came out saying that he committed suicide, which is a complete farce. There's no way that he committed suicide. He came out on a radio interview at Red Ice Creations for four hours talking about just the blue beam, the fake alien invasion in 2012, the uh, symbolic research that Rick Clay did into the Olympics. He mm -hmm. narrowed it right down to the 2012 London Olympics. And just a few days after he did this radio interview, his blog was shut down. He stopped posting to all his forums. His friends couldn't find him. We all were trying to get a hold of him on the Ike forums. Nobody could. And then now he committed suicide. Do you, um, your voice calls me? The people that are putting out this propaganda, the truth movement about 9-11, are the ones that attacked us on 9-11. Why? Don't you know their phrase? Order out of chaos. They want chaos. They don't want you to have a solution. No, no, no. They don't want you to be able to unify. They just want you to rise up like chickens with their heads cut off so that there is chaos or anarchy. They want you to rise up. Nobody's solving anything. It's just a bunch of propaganda bullshit about 9-11. People send emails to each other and talk about it all the time, but nobody's doing anything. They need chaos for order. These people have a history of pointing their fingers at themselves. They did it when they switched from dictatorship to hidden hand. They're doing it now. They're exposing what's happened on 9-11 through these fake underground truth movements. It's because you're like uh, a chess player that's thinking three moves ahead and you're playing somebody that's able to think 30 moves ahead. So you catch their bishop in five moves and say, Ha! I got your bishop. And they say, Ha! Yeah, I know you did, and I knew you would, and in exactly five moves. And then three and a half minutes later, checkmate. Do you, um, your voice calls me? It could very well be that Christianity and a lot of these religions were designed, their very purpose, thinking this many moves ahead, designed to fail. How? Why? Well, if they steal the teachings of Christ and then create this Jesus deity, this trinity, which isn't what it was, then point their fingers at themselves like they always do, expose the Babylonian symbolism, the satanic symbolism of the religions they created, they could do that in hopes to make you abandon all Christ's teachings as well, do you see? If you don't know that they stole those teachings, then you'll think that they created those teachings. They expose the deity as symbolism, and then everybody will have their big sigh of relief. Oh, we don't have to be good. We don't have to follow any of that. You see, the ultimate last ditch attempt to discredit Christ. Why? That opens the door for the new world religion of sorcery, or Satanism, for the utopia. 
It has to be that because there's no way these people doing what they're doing could have given the metaphors that Christ gave to create some symbolic deity. They just the two wouldn't go hand in hand. So it really the from what I've been learning, what I've seen, they stole his teachings to draw people into both Christianity and Satanism. Then they're going to point the finger at the symbolism of Christianity and other religions so that people release all the teachings of Christ, thinking it was a fraud, for the final entrapment. It's very important that you stay balanced. The primary foundation of what you are is love, and that's what they don't want you to know. And the easiest way to do that is to come in the name of love and slowly tear you away from it redefine it to ensnare you in the web. This is a dollar bill, and on the back of the dollar bill, there's a pyramid with one eye. Now, the one eye is the sun god, Ray. This is the Masonic god. If you look, you'll see the pyramid is built except for the top. The eye is suspended above the top. It hasn't come down yet. Because they believe until they finished the Masonic project, which is the, the, what they say on the bottom, Novus Ordo Seclorum, and then Annuetta Chapters, he is pleased with our project. In other words, the God they believe in is pleased with our project. What is the project? The project is literally the secularization of the world. To completely strip the world from religious beliefs. This is the project, and that is why it is called Novus Ordo Seclorum, a new secular or worldly order.